Hi, I'm Jeff Goodman and welcome to scubaverse.com. Today I'm going to be looking at the Sea Life Sport Diver housing for the iPhone. I do enjoy reviewing equipment that is well made and well designed and this is a perfect example. I was slightly disappointed when I first saw the advert for these that the iPhones that it uh, accepted were from the 7 upwards and I have uh, an iPhone 6S. So I got in touch with Sea Life and they did a quick test and it was learnt that the 6X, 6S sorry, uh, works absolutely fine in it. So I was delighted. Um, and it's great housing, lovely, lovely to feel very strongly made uh, it's polycarbonate in structure it has uh, aluminium and stainless steel fittings and the glass port on the front of course is optically flat good down to 40 meters and the, <laughs> it's an interesting thing putting your very expensive and loved iphone uh, into any sort of housing to go underwater. But this one I think is pretty uh, well safe. It's um, got an excellent O-ring seal here, uh, but also it has, which is quite unusual for, for this type of housing, uh, it has a vacuum pump uh, the fitting here so you can actually put a, a slight vacuum into the housing and that's going to draw the seals together and make it pretty well waterproof well entirely waterproof indeed if there's any error at all it's going to be operator error where you haven't cleaned the o-rings there's also uh, in the bottom of the housing uh, a water detector as well and that will flash up a warning on your iPhone. Fantastic. We'll have a look at the, the fitting there in the moment. Um, first, coming to the phone, you need to download the Sea Life app, which I've already done. Turn that one on. And where's the camera? There's the camera. Oh, taking a picture. Uh, there's the camera here. Now this fits directly into the housing with this spring loaded bar here. And with your different size phones, there are these rubber mountings here which simply pop out and within the package come different size mountings and you slip them simply into the little slots and they will adjust then and, then and make it suitable for whatever size phone you've got. So I'll pop that one in there. There is an extremely good video on the Sea Life website and I'll put a link to it on how to set your phone up um, and all the controls, how they work, all the best settings. So I won't go through all those because it'll take um, a, a fair while. But enough to say, um, actually let me turn the, the system on and close it up with the swivel lock here. Now that's connecting the phone and the housing with Bluetooth. The camera now gives a message and a gauge to show the pressure in the housing is high. So it's normal ambient pressure and we need now to extract some air to give a vacuum. And to do this, we take off the watertight valve cover and give a few pumps. The green area of the gauge will now show we have great level of vacuum in the housing. 
and the system will now test itself for three minutes and if there's no leak the camera is ready to go so uh, while that's happening I'll just show you a couple of other things um, I do love the fact that Sea Life put all their items in these boxes they're very sturdy great for traveling or just um, leaving uh, in your home you know they're a good box to keep things in within this one you have a lanyard there's some over in grease um, some spare rubber mounts and of course the vacuum pump there is a moisture muncher which fits into the housing, which will absorb any um, condensation that, that might form. And a perfect marriage for the camera is the Sea Dragon 2500. And this light, I have reviewed it before. It's a great movie light and good for stills as well. Just pop that on there. Pop that one on there, turn it on, there we go. Good down to 60 meters, uh, has 120 degree beam, very even light, no hot spots, so perfect for videoing. Uh, it has 60 minutes on full power, and with the press of the button, you can actually have three power settings and then off. It's great. I also love the fact that it is so quick release, just a quick um, whoop, press the button and you can hand hold the light as I often like to do. The camera then mounts here and you have a complete unit. Well worth looking at, um, uh, at the light. It's, I mean, natural light is, is okay in the shallows, but honestly, to make the difference in your video, you really do need uh, a good video light. So let's put that one there for the moment. If you're in the shallows and you're not using a video light, there is the uh, red filter here, which simply fits over the front and that will do some color, uh, color compensating for you. But of course you've got all of the controls on your iPhone. So you've got auto, white balance and whatever else your, I, your iPhone will give you. The camera has now cleared itself here. So there are no signs that the camera is actually ready to go. So remember to put the cap back on. This has got an O-ring seal on it. And then here, we have a lovely big screen. I mean, the quality of this depends on what phone you've got, of course, but um, my iPhone 6S, I'm, I'm just thrilled with. So I can only imagine the quality of the newer phones is even better, but the image is great. And you can then, it's on uh, photo mode at the moment, and you can scroll through to cinema, uh, video, and then you've got all different menu settings and then you've got um, your still photos which you can scroll through and look at. Let's go back up to um, photos. You've got the zoom, you've got ba battery indicators, but I say all this is on the video and uh, as I say I'll put the link at the end of this review. Fabulous housing, I love it. The controls are so easy to use. Uh, an easy click button here or a little lever and that works the video as well. And then should you get a leak or even you have to do this anyway to take your camera out of the housing because there is a, a vacuum in here holding the, the door and the body together. With this little valve here, if I just tilt it to one side, you can hear the air come out. Now, if you were underwater and there was a slight problem with the ceiling, you'd get this alarm. So immediately you know you've got a problem and give you time to do something about it. 
But for the moment, this has just told me the vacuum has now been uh, equalized. I can open the housing, turn off the camera and pop out the iPhone. Close it up. There we go. Great. Nice dry uh, iPhone. And as I say, the quality on the iPhones is superb and it's just lovely to be able to use it underwater. Put that one back on there so I don't lose it. Lots of controls, lots of uh, capabilities within the system. The housing allows you full access of your controls uh, on your iPhone. The Sports Diver from Sea Life.